Hello everyone, it's Gen Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you again. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is entitled, Making English Mandatory for Immigrants. So let's take a look at what the meaning is of mandatory. Mandatory means you have to do it. Everyone has to do it. You must do it. That is mandatory. And immigrants, we learned this in a few articles ago, immigrants are people who move from a country into a new country to live there. So if I go to Hawaii or if I go to China just to visit or have a vacation, I'm not really immigrating. That's only if I take everything that I have and I decide to live there for good. That's immigrant or immigrate. So immigrants are the people who move to another country to live there. So they're saying that people who move to this new place, they must speak English. So that's what this article is about. Let's take a look where, when, and why. So the article, it says, a person considering moving to another country needs to learn the language of the country he or she plans to live in. So here, a person considering, considering means you're thinking about it. So if you're thinking about, or if you're a person who is thinking about moving to another country, you should or you need to learn the language of that country that you plan to live in. So if I plan to move to China, then I should learn Chinese before I go there. Uh, literacy is one of uh, great importance, is of great importance to survive in a new and unfamiliar environment. So environment is the surrounding. So if I move to a new surrounding and it's unfamiliar, meaning that it's not something I'm used to, it's something that is very new and I have to learn it all over again. So if that is the setting that I'm going to, then literacy, meaning the ability to read and write a language, is of great importance, it's very important. So if I move to Japan, if I cannot read the signs, if I cannot read uh, or speak to the people around me, then it's going to be very difficult. So it's very important that I learn how to do that before I go. So that's what this is saying. So it says here, in Britain, a parliamentary group has published a report on social integration saying all immigrants should be expected to have either learned English before coming to the UK or must take classes in English after arrival. So let's take a look at what it says there. So in the country of Britain, a parliamentary group, so parliamentary is how uh, in Britain they have their government. So this is a group of uh, their government has published, published meaning they have written and they have shared it with everyone, a report on social integration. Integration is when people are joining together. So you're mixing, you're, you're speaking, you're dealing with, that's integration or blending in. So social is dealing with any community or a group of people who are interacting together. So report on people uh, coming together, joining together, or dealing with one another says all immigrants or people who are moving to a new country to live there should be expected to have either. So they, uh, they think that everyone should do this, right? So that's expected. Before you come, you should have done this. That's what an expectation is. So they expect that all the people who are coming to Britain from other countries to live in Britain should either two choices. Number one, learn the English before coming. So you learn if I'm living in Korea and I plan to live in Britain, before I move to Britain or immigrate there, then I need to start learning English in Korea. So that's number one. Or must take classes in English after arrival. Arrival means they've uh, reached or they've come to Britain. So once they've come to Britain, if they didn't learn English in their country before, then in Britain they need to start taking classes in English. So those are the two choices that the government group says in a writing that they shared with the public, was shared with everyone, uh, said that that's uh, what they expect of new immigrants to the country. Uh, let's look here. It says, since 2004, the number of immigrants in Britain has dramatically risen but they have experienced growing inequality that makes it hard for them to join British society. So society, once again, is a group of people living together, dealing with one another, social, society, that's all meaning a larger community of people. So uh, the people, since 2004, it says the number of people moving to Britain to live there has dramatically increased. So dramatically means uh, really clearly or in a large way it has risen. So the number of people have gone up of how many people come to live in Britain. But they have experienced or they're dealing with growing inequality. So inequality we see in as the prefix meaning not or un. So not equal. 
So they're not being treated the same. So the people living in Britain who are from other countries, they're not being treated the same and that's happening more and more. It's growing and that makes it hard for them to join British society. So if I am a person from Korea and I decide to live in Britain because I don't speak English, I'm not treated the same and it's hard for me to live amongst or in the midst of uh, British uh, society or in Britain. Um, the group said, and the group is talking about the parliamentary group, the group said using the same language will result in the full participation of immigrants in society and the economy as well as interaction with the British people. So they're saying that according to their studies, uh, they said when you speak the same language, it will help you uh, be able to be more part of the community or part of the society, as well as the economy, working, being able to make money and being successful, as well as interacting with the people in that country. So if I speak English in Britain, in Britain, then I will be able to speak with the people there. They'll be friendlier towards me. I can get a job easier. I can make uh, a living much easier and it'll be much better experience for me if I speak the language. Another plan is to have immigrants settle in other parts of the country. So they're saying if you cannot speak English then maybe you can start off in another uh, city or another town before joining into uh, the main cities in Britain because it's much more uh, difficult to get a job there or to interact with people. So that's another idea that they have uh, shared. So here in the final paragraph it says a government spokesman said a huge budget has been raised to carry out this ambitious plan. So a government spokesman is a person who speaks for the government uh, to the public said a huge budget, huge means very large or very big and budget is the money that they put aside so that they can use for this particular goal or purpose. So they have this uh, great deal of money set aside and they uh, want to use this to carry out this plan. Ambitious means uh, it's kind of a difficult goal but they're working very hard to try to accomplish it. So they have this money set aside so that they can accomplish um, having everyone speak English before or when they first come to the country so that they can uh, start joining the society and being able to contribute or be able to help out uh, and be active members of that society. The group, however, warned that uncontrolled mass immigration in Britain will hurt social unity and require more money for public services. So in the conclusion, they said that yes, we have this plan, we have the money set aside so that all these immigrants can join our society by learning English. We have that plan, but however, they said that there are uncontrolled things that are out of their control, that they cannot control it. Uh, uncontrolled mass immigration, mass means a great number of people, immigration means people coming into the country all of a sudden at once, that uncontrollably will hurt social unity. So the country people are joining together, they're working together, right, they're communicating, that unity or joining together, uh, it might hurt their efforts. So they're trying very hard so that the country can come together as one, the people in Britain who speak English and the new immigrants coming in, it might hurt that if all of a sudden they get thousands and thousands of people who for whatever reason, for different reasons, for example there's a war in another country and all these immigrants have to come in or there's a natural disaster and Britain has to take in more people from surrounding countries. All of these uncontrolled mass immigrations, they may hurt uh, social unity and require money for more public services. So public services include uh, shelter, housing people who have no homes, giving people food, who need food. So all of these public services, that's where the money will go instead of money that is set aside for helping people to speak English in that country. So this is an issue uh, in the 21st century. We see this a lot in America where more and more people uh, are demanding or saying that people should speak English because that is a country that speaks English. I know that in Korea, uh, years and years ago, if foreigners would come, a lot of Korean people would have that same thought. This is Korea, you should speak Korean. So that kind of thought is coming from a place where it's easier for us to interact with people if we speak the same language. So this is a, a, a hot topic going around in America as well as in Britain and they want to do it so that uh, the community 
or society in that country can join together with these people who are deciding to live there. So continue to check the news to see the new developments or what's going on in regards to language. So this is an important hot topic. Let's take a look at the questions for today's uh, art, uh, article. So here we have a flag of Britain. So here it says, why is literacy important for immigrants? So we said literacy is the ability to read and write in a language. And immigrants are people living or deciding to move to a new country. So literacy is of great importance to survive in a blank and blank environment. So we said environment is a setting. So if I move to a new country, I am in a new environment or a new setting. So here it says to survive in a what kind of environment and what kind of environment setting. So we have two different adjectives. So here we said in a new and unfamiliar. Unfamiliar means it's not something that I'm used to. It's kind of strange at first because it's not what I've seen before. So new and unfamiliar environment. So if I can learn how to speak, if I can learn how to read, then that will help me a lot in a new and unfamiliar setting or environment. Uh, let's look at B. Since what year has the number of immigrants in Britain dramatically risen? So risen is rise and dramatically means very clearly seen all of a sudden, right? So what year did this start? And we said it was in the year of 2004. So starting uh, a little over 10 years ago, uh, that's when the increase of immigrants uh, has been taking place in Britain. And the last question here, it says, what is the parliamentary group expecting by promoting the use of same language? So promoting means they hope other people will do it. So they keep sharing that or encouraging. And parliamentary group means a government group. So the full blank of immigrants in society and the economy, as well as blank with the British people. So what is it that they're hoping? What is it that they're uh, um, desiring or wanting uh, for immigrants to speak the same language? What is the goal? To do what? So the full, we said, right, joining together or they're part of it. So we said it's the full participation as well as uh, interaction with British people. So if I don't speak the language, it's hard for me to be part of the country. So uh, if there's a special parade or a rally or the government wants to do something, I cannot participate in it if I have no idea, if I cannot understand what they're doing. And I cannot speak or uh, interact with people if I cannot speak the language. So those are things that the government in Britain is hoping that by making it uh, mandatory, making it a rule that everyone needs to speak English, that these two uh, things will be improved. Let's take a look at our last portion of our comprehension, the fill in the blank. It says all blank should be expected to have either learned English before coming to the UK or must take classes in English after arrival. So who is this talking about? So all the people who move to a new country and that's one of our main words. And we said all the immigrants. Very good. So let's look at B. Uh, they have experienced growing something that makes it hard for them to join British society. So they is once again talking about the immigrants or the people who've moved to a new country. They've experienced growing what? That makes it hard for them to join British society. So there is a problem or there is growing uh, difficulty. So growing inequality. Inequality means not equal. Remember we talked about this so they're not being treated the same. So if there's two people trying to get a job, if one person speaks the language, then they will be treated much better because they can communicate. So they would, the person who does not speak will not be treated the same or not treated equally. So they would be treated inequally, right? Or inequality would be the way that they would be treated. So let's look at the last question. C says, a government spokesman, so it's a person who speaks on behalf of the government, said a huge budget has been raised to carry out this what kind of plan? So we talked about it. It's not a very simple plan. It's a plan that has a very high goal and it's not going to be easy, but they're working very hard to try to get there or try to accomplish it. So they're working very hard. We said a huge budget was a, a large amount of money that they put aside so that they can accomplish this goal. So what kind of plan is this? This is a very lofty or not an easy. So it's a very ambitious plan. So they have a very high goal and they want to do uh, a lot of things to try to get there. So this entire article was talking about 
how in Britain they want the new immigrants to speak English. This is happening because more and more people from different countries are coming into their country and they don't speak English. And because they don't speak English, they cannot interact with the people in the country and they cannot really contribute or help or do anything for the country because they cannot communicate. So we've seen this problem uh, years and years ago in Korea where more and more foreigners or more and more immigrants, people from other country, are coming into the country. And it always helps that they uh, kind of you know, learn the language so that they can help out the country and be a good member of that new society. So this is something that impacts us all as more and more people are moving and immigrating to different countries. So English is becoming a more and more widely used language. So I hope that after reading this language or after reading this article and studying it, that if you plan to live in Britain or another country like America, learning a language is very important part of joining their society. So I hope that this gives you more motivation to learn English uh, and I hope you enjoyed learning this article. So I will see you again next time. Uh, goodbye everyone.